I think that Nina's job uh, explicitly is is to prepare the meals for the house, but implicitly she serves a lot of really important features. Uh, First of all, I I don't know all Nina has done for this house. No one in this house knows all Nina has done for this house. I'll tell you why. It's because she's been here so much longer than any current member in the house has. I graduated in Krakow University. I just came straight here in this country and I started working. First my job was for three months in Polish American restaurant because I didn't have no family in this country. So I just stopped because somebody gave me advice, just look in the Polish um, restaurant so you might get start. And I work um, six months over there and uh, I met a nice person over there, he was a lawyer, and he said, Nina, if you're looking for a better job, you have to get out from the Polish community because you never learn English. And I said, okay, but how I can do this? I don't have legal paper yet or anything. He said, well, this country needs chefs. And he sit with me and we look in the paper and we find a job in Northwestern, Alpha Phi. And Alpha Phi said, okay, if you communicate in three months with us, you get the job. And bus boys from um, Alpha Phi come to my room every day and they teach me English until I speak up and I was able to communicate. And after that, I get the job and six months, I didn't have no problem to schedule the plan, menu, and uh, everything else. And then meantime, I have, um, I have chance to meet uh, ZBT guys because they always date to alpha figures. So meantime, I met this handsome gentleman, so which they keep contact with me all the time too. So I never lost the contact between alpha Phi and ZBT. She's kind of a, uh, a very mysterious figure, if you will. I mean, she's a mother figure to us, but at the same time, none of us really know what the story behind her life is. I moved to South Africa for two years. Actually, I get married there. And I enjoy it, everything was fine, but it was really lonely, different country, different culture, and I have to work. Something in my mind that uh, I cannot be only for leisure. So after two years, I decide to pack my bags and come back here. And one day I come, I don't know what I did in Evanston, and the guys from ZBT see me in the street, and they was driving, I said, Nina, that's you? I said, yeah. He said, what the hell are you doing? I told him, you are in South Africa. I said, I come back. He said, can you work for us? And after three months, I said, I have resigned from this job. I'm taking back a uh, Northwestern job. So since right. then, I stick here and I love it. You know, whenever you come up to the house, she's always here, always happy to see us, which is great because I, I don't think there's a single person that's always happy to see us. It's not all about food with Nina. It's, it's about the love. I grew up with communist country, which was very hard and um, very difficult to make ahead of your life. Even it was hard for me to leave my young children and my country and my husband. But to come to this country, I know that then I have a chance to make better life for all of us. And here I came to this country, I see the car and the window a beautiful Berlinetta, and I said, one day I will have this car. It didn't take me too long. Two years later, I get this car. In my country, I couldn't dream all my life I couldn't get this car. My kids have their own businesses. My son is a young fellow. He's a successful engineer. He has already family, beautiful house, everything, any car, whatever he dreamed to have. So to me, to see that, never will be happen in my country, never. Each time when uh, my kids was not around, to remind you guys, like my kids, I don't feel like it's only my job, but it's like family around me because I never have a chance to spend too much time with my kids. So now I have a chance to spend entire time with you, which reminds me, my son, and my daughter. She's very good at always being there for us. She's someone that you can talk to about your day. 
and she'll be there to listen and be there as an encouraging figure. And in addition, um, I think that uh, generally she's just another friendly person who's, who's around for us all. I appreciate that you guys have really respect for me. I see that every day, which uh, previous years I have lots of tur turbulence here coming every day to work and see a broken uh, equipment, um, not having pads, every pad was broken, a table, chairs was broken. For me, it was broken heart. She appreciates how much we appreciate her food. There's a special bond between everyone in the house and Nina. Having you guys now is like, even I have that many people, even I'm working harder, but still to me, my mind is happy. To see that everything is okay every day. It's lots of satisfaction for that. Each all of you, to me, is um, best quality man I ever met in my life. From that, a judging all generation for that many years being Alpha Phi and ZBT, I can say that's the best generation I ever met. You have to have very strong mind yourself and to make direction what you want to do really from day one when you graduate. Because if you think that something come to you, never happen. You have a chance to go and try to work hard and you're not afraid you can do it.